right, good morning, everyone. Oh, come on, y'all can do better than that. Good morning, Park Heights. We are up here in the Heights this morning with our mayor, our councilwoman, my staff, and I can't say enough about, please everybody give our PHR staff and our Clean and Green team some love this morning. It's so great to see everyone out today, our residents, our, our, our leaders here today, and those who live and love and work up in the Heights. This past year, as we all know, has been a journey and it's affected the way that we communicate and connect with one another. So I know I'm proud today and excited to be here with all of you. This is the start for us getting back into socializing and engaging, but I want us to still understand that we're still in a pandemic. So please today, as we're out having fun and we're ensuring that our neighborhood is clean and taking a stand starting today, that Park Heights will be a cleaner and safer and healthier community. But please remember to social distance. I don't wanna see not one of you out here today without a mask on. We have masks out here. We have them over back here on the table and there'll be masks throughout. So today, if you see someone without a mask, please welcome them to join you in being safe and give them a mask. But I wanna say, we up in the Heights today, Mayor Scott. <laughs> Mayor Scott is from the Heights. I'm from the Heights. So I'm excited today to stand here together and say we are a powerhouse. Yeah. 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 Coming together as a community, we can make this community what we know it can be, what we all once knew it was, and we can take it to the next level. Yeah. And in the words of Mr. George E. Mitchell, Park Heights will be the yeah. next destination location. Yeah. We can do this together. Let's get pumped. Let's have some fun today. And I'm going to turn it over to my colleague, my friend. And I'm proud to say I've watched your transition. And I'm so proud to work under your leadership. So everybody give it up. Mayor Brandon Scott. Good morning, everybody. Man, it feel good to be home. We're gonna try that one more time though. We isn't we in Park Heights. Good morning, Park Heights. See, that's what I was expecting from you, Debor. It is a, a pleasure to be here with you all this morning. Uh, I wanna thank uh, Council Vice President Middleton for always showing up for Park Heights and always being in Park Heights. I wanna thank uh, DPW Director Matt Garbark for being here. Also, uh, Assistant Fire Chief Savella and Police Commissioner Harrison. But of course, uh, where'd you go that fast? Oh, this year is. Uh, my, my friend and the leader of Park Heights Renaissance who will see our neighborhood become uh, the best version of itself uh, so that Park Heights can be what my grandmama told me about right. and not what I grew up in uh, when I was running around 3939. Uh, that's what, we, yeah, 3939. That's what, that's what we call it. You only got to, if you, if you're from Park Heights, you only say the address. You know, you know what it is. When they say 3939 Richardson, I said, you mean 3939? That's what, that's what it is for us. And we know uh, the history of this neighborhood, this great neighborhood, the people uh, that this neighborhood has produced. And yes, uh, we have had some challenges, but the reality is, is that we have come a long way. Uh, from the 80s and 90s where it would be hard to even stand out on this parking lot. That's the reality for folks who don't understand uh, what this neighborhood is, has been through. And though we have a lot more work to do, so much has been done. And that's how you can see uh, the promise of a bold new heights. Uh, when you understand uh, where we started, when you understand what we've been through, when you understand the people that we've lost who gave their lives working for this neighborhood. And I also, uh, and before we begin today, I want us to all honor a moment of silence and recognize all of our condolences to a life that we lost last night. 
senselessly in our city. One of our DPW sanitation workers who undoubtedly would be out here today cleaning the city. And when we had someone cowardly uh, take his life and shoot uh, one of his co-workers, that is not something that we can accept, y'all. We can't say that we want our city to be cleaner and be safer and then literally be taking out the people that do that every day who go and pick up that trash that you threw outside your window in your car, who go and pick up the trash that you took from your house and decided to put it in a corner trash can just because you felt like you could do that because someone else would do it. We have to change that culture and understand that every life matters, but especially those who dedicate themselves to something greater than them, to making Baltimore better each and every day. And we will find out who did it. We will hunt them down and bring them to, to a level of accountability. But we also, as a city, have to stop harboring and coddling people and letting them know, you know, you know there are people right now who lit their grandson, their granddaughter, their son, who they know shot three, four, five people, sleep in their house every night. We can't accept that. If you truly love that person, help them. Help them man up or woman up for what they did because that's the right thing to do. Because when it happens to them, you're going to be screaming and hollering about how you want some help and you want somebody to say something. Allow them to own up to what they did so that we can change the culture of how we operate in a city. So let's create it. I'll take a moment of silence. Thank you. Uh, today is a great day. This is not my first mayor's spring cleanup, but it's my first mayor's spring cleanup as mayor. And what I want us to do uh, this day is not to just go out and clean the city and pick up trash, but we have to reflect about what safe communities and great communities are. And it starts with what you see and how you feel. You cannot feel pride in a neighborhood when there's trash everywhere. So when you pick up every piece of litter or trash or dump or people who have put their shrubbery in the gutter today, that's what you're doing. You are showing in every ounce that you pick up, everything that you put in a bag, hope for our communities. And we don't need to just do this today uh, because through teamwork and commitment, we can keep our city clean. It doesn't have to be that neighborhoods like Park Heights or Sandtown or East Baltimore have to have trash in them. We know, I know, growing up here in the 2500 block of West Cold Spring, we didn't need DPW because my father said he had three sons and that every time we cut our grass, we had to cut our neighbor's grass and the vacant's grass and we had to clean the gutter. We had to clean the alley. We know that that's the culture of Baltimore and we can get back to that so that we're giving assistance to uh, Director Garbark and his crews who are working out here each and every day. All we, that's all you got to do, clean in front of your house. Don't wait for someone else to do something. Uh, that is where you live. That is a reflection of you because you allow it to be that way and together we can keep Baltimore. We have over 250 groups that have registered today with DPW for this cleanup. So we're off to a good start. So now we're gonna get to work. I'm gonna stop preaching. The folks up at Cornerstone gonna think I'm trying to come up there. But I'm not and I am now, I'm gonna turn it back over to you, Yolanda. All right, thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, so we're going to be quick because um, we want to start having some fun. But I want to uh, just take a few minutes, if you don't mind, for me to acknowledge the true passion behind this work that we do every day. And that's my family because I am from the Heights. And I look out and I saw some of my family this morning. I got choked up. Um, because every day I drive through this community, it, this is not a job for me. This is my home. I don't live in Park Heights today, but what does that matter? I was born and raised, and every inch of this community brings back memories. And that's the memories I want us to be motivated, because it's motivating me. And I want us to get together and think about those days back in the day, like Brandon just said. We used to have block parties community parties and and despite COVID last year we kicked off our development project in the 2600 block of Park Heights. COVID safe 
had a ball. Our legislators were there. We had a good time. And my uncle, I was proud that my uncle, two of my uncles live in the 2600 block of Park Heights. And my uncle, I lost, we lost him uh, to COVID this year. And if he was here today, he would be the main one getting the party started today. So I want us to give him some love today, give my family some love in the memory of my grandmother who lived over here in the 3800 block of Park Heights. And every time I go to that farm, her spirit lives in me. So I want to turn it over for us to have some fun today. I want our councilwoman, our tireless and fearless leader, to say a few words to kick us off. And then we're going to turn some music on, and we're going to get ready. We're going to start packing up, and we're going to hit the various sites in Park Heights. And I want to thank our partners here today, which are always our residents, first and foremost. But today, we're talking about public-private partnerships to make this thing work. And I want to thank P&J Contracting, for coming out today, helping us in the community. I want to thank LJW Waste Company for providing these dumpsters for you. All right, all right, thank you. And we had K&K uh, &K Adams that's also going to be out today. So that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Strength in numbers. All right, y'all, I'm going to turn it over to Councilwoman Middleton. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Can you feel that passion in this woman? I'm telling you, she is the one that's going to lead and take Park Heights to the next level. Yes. And thank you for your team, and thank you for your tireless work. And, your, and, of course, the Park Heights Renaissance Board is here. I mean, we all have these connections, and it's about volunteerism. I want to thank the businesses. I want to thank the residents. Um, we have Sankofa Museum uh, representatives here that we got to participate. And we have uh, Chippy, our, our farmer, that's been working with, with um, our youth, with our seniors, and just um, continuing to push that healthy living right here in Park Heights. Um, the passion is here. The work is still, the work still has to be done. And all of you that have come out to participate in this, we all can't thank you enough. At that next cleanup, we want to double, double the participation. We can't say it enough. It's, it's all hands on deck at this particular time. And we are so thankful and lucky to have a mayor that is from Park Heights um, Mayor Scott, and I'm going to call him Brandon, we, we basically kind of started together, and we have been together from day one, and I, I'm just, to watch him grow and mature and now finally lead, not just Park Heights, but lead this city, he's going to take this city to the next level, and we, and we need to be behind him, beside him, in front of him, it's all about working together. It's working together. Put all whatever aside. It's about bringing this city together, and it's going to take all of us. And keeping it clean is just the beginning. So again, thank you all. Thank you, Yolanda Jiggins, for your, your leadership, your partnership. And we want, we want and need more partners. So again, and of course, let's give a round of applause to our police commissioner, because we know the police department Commissioner Harrison has, has been doing a great job. He has been, you know, he is not let down. He is committed, and he says that himself over and over again. So we need our police department as partners in this city. So again, thank you all again. Thank you. Um, and just before we get started, I want to also acknowledge Matt. You want to come up? who is um, leading DPW right now, and is definitely going to be a true partner and has been a partner with our Clean and Green team and with the community. So, Matt, do you want to say a little something? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Matt Garbark. I'm Acting Public Works Director. I just want to say thank you on behalf of Public Works for all of you showing up today. Uh, it's obviously a, uh, our hearts are heavy. The DPW family's hearts are heavy this morning. 
Uh, we lost one of our own last evening, and um, I don't think there could be a greater honor to what those men and women do than to have this level of participation and involvement in cleaning up our neighborhoods. And I just want you to know that our folks take great, great pride, great passion in the work they do, and I want to thank all of you, the residents of Baltimore, for your understanding and patience this past year as we have struggled and uh, we have persevered. And we will continue to do that. So thank you, everyone. Mayor Scott, in PHR fashion last year, we started developing some swag. Oh, and we want to gift you, you with some swag so you can be up in Park Heights oh, representing right. correctly. Yeah. Uh-oh, so like, where's my mask for the mayor? Mm -hmm. So we have a journal book nah, look, I'm for you to... I'm looking at Sharon, she might try to take that. <laughs> <laughs> State Street. State oh, yeah, thank Street, you. Man. And I went in back to the clinic, so you only yes, drive away. Your coffee mug. And somebody please get my mask, a PHR mask. Hey. There we go, thank you. And I want to thank our board. Um, oftentimes people forget that a board actually runs and manages a nonprofit. They have been troopers and leaders for in free. this effort. For free. For free, right, as he said. <laughs> a lot of work for free. And um, Mr. Board Wolfer is, our, is on our board, but she's also the chair of our Community and, and Human Services Committee and was really, really instrumental uh -oh. in making today happen. So I want to wow. acknowledge Mr. Boer. And we also got some extra swag for you as well for leading us always in having community in mind first and foremost. All right, guys, let's get it going today. Let's pack up. We're going to be headed to the four sites in Park Heights. Hey, clean up is a very important day. We know that clean neighborhoods become safe neighborhoods and to have over 250 groups across the city cleaning up starting here in my home neighborhood Park Heights uh, means the world to me. Uh, it shows the true spirit of Baltimore where people are going to get up, not wait for someone, clean their own neighborhood and push through.